Sister Wives Did Cody Brown's dad want Janelle for another son? Did Sister Wives star Cody Brown's father, Wynn, truly want Janelle Brown for another one of his sons? Janelle's integration into the plural family seemed smooth from the outside. But what was really happening behind the scenes? Janelle Brown knew Cody Brown long before becoming his second wife. Initially, she was married to Mary Brown's brother, Adam. That marriage eventually ended, leading Janelle to the polygamous lifestyle. She then became Cody's second wife, followed by two more women. However, if Cody's father, Wynn Brown, had his way, Janelle would have married another one of his sons. Cody had four brothers, one now deceased, and five sisters, making it unclear which son Wynn preferred for Janelle. This information surfaced in the best-selling book, Becoming Sister Wives, where Janelle discussed a period in her life marked by exploration and a desire to connect with Native American culture. During this time, she quit her job, bought a teepee, and aimed to embrace this lifestyle as fully as possible. Since Cody's father had married Janelle's mother, he offered her a place on his ranch, providing her the option to come inside whenever needed. Wynn took Janelle under his wing, hoping to find her a husband among his other sons. Even though Wynn preferred one of Cody's brothers for Janelle, it seems she was not interested in settling. Instead, she had her eyes set on Cody, a detail discussed in a Reddit thread. The thread featured various reactions. I wonder if she looks back and thinks Wynn was right. He was trying to save his wife's daughter from marrying a loser. So Janelle quits her job to live in a teepee, and she's the supposed financial guru in the family. Which one I wonder? Sister Wives fans found themselves baffled by the timeline. They speculated that Cody Brown's dad and Janelle Brown's mom met while she and Cody were dating. Yet it appeared they were already married when Wynn tried to pair Janelle with another of his sons. The chronological sequence remains vague. Additionally, fans questioned Janelle living in a teepee after quitting her job, given her reputation as the family's financial expert. Moreover, the mystery of which brother Wynn wanted for Janelle still looms large. It appears that fans might never receive a definitive answer. Christine Brown shares her breakup soundtrack. It's been quite some time since Sister Wives fans first learned Christine Brown planned to leave Cody. The breakup was filled with several low points, including Cody's infamous knife in the kidneys speech. Thankfully, Christine is in a much healthier headspace and relationship today. Fans loved watching her televised wedding to David Woolley. The pair frequently go on fun outings together, which is something Christine admitted she rarely did with Cody. Now, the Sister Wives star is reflecting on the darkest chapters of her breakup and sharing the musical artist who helped her through the hard times. Christine Brown Woolley has tickets to see her favorite artist. Sister Wives fans know Christine Brown Woolley as the happy, bubbly one. That's why few felt surprised to learn how much she likes pop music, including the singer Pink. We're going to see Pink, so freaking excited! Ed David underscore underscore Wooly has seen her two times already. I have an empowering playlist that I would listen to every single morning in Flagstaff, and her songs were a majority of that playlist. The TLC star shared on Instagram recently. Fans expressed their excitement for Christine and David, leaving comments including, You're gonna love it. Be forewarned though, this will set your concert bar extremely high. All others will pale in comparison. On Lucky Doc. Seeing her is on my bucket list. Hope you have an amazing time. Christine, you are going to love her. I've seen her three times and she is one of a freaking kind. Your life is about to be forever changed. Just saw her last Wednesday in Amsterdam. She puts on one great show. The TLC star shares how PNK inspires her. Although the Woolies are over the moon about the upcoming PNK concert, this isn't the first time Christine has posted about the singer. Earlier in the week, she shared an empowering message with her fans set to one of Pancake's songs. Over the last few years, many people have reached out to me, looking for the courage to make a change. Let this be the day that you step out into the uncomfortable, unfamiliar, or even the scary. Change is scary, but we can do scary things. 
the Sister Wives star wrote on Instagram. New Revelations of Robin Brown's Sinister Fakeness on Sister Wives Since Sister Wives premiered in 2010, many fans have taken an instant dislike to Robin Brown. They have often thought she and Cody were responsible for disrupting the family's dynamic, ultimately leading to its breakdown years later. Over time, Christine, Mary, and Janelle Brown all left the family. In subsequent interviews, they have indicated that they each had problems with Robin in various ways. Many fans point to numerous instances of Robin displaying behaviors they find unfavorable, and some believe her actions might even be quite malicious. Longtime Sister Wives fans can likely recall stories of Robin being catty and insincere with the rest of the family. Screen Rant has compiled a list highlighting these behaviors. One significant instance fans refer to is the housing situation in Flagstaff. Mary, Christine, and Janelle struggled to find suitable housing for their families, while Robin and Cody bought a large, luxurious house together. Mary and Christine had multiple rentals, and Janelle lived in an RV at one point. Meanwhile, Robin enjoyed the comfort of her mansion near Coyo Pass. The housing situation caused several other issues, exacerbated by the pandemic. Robin prevented Cody from visiting his other children, leading to a strained relationship with Janelle's sons, Garrison and Gabe. Many fans believe Robin would have driven a wedge between Cody and his children even without the pandemic, but it certainly didn't help. Garrison Brown's untimely death in March 2024 shocked Sister Wives fans worldwide. Although the family asked fans not to place blame, many immediately pointed fingers at Cody and Robin. Garrison struggled with mental health challenges and possibly other issues the public wasn't aware of. Many fans believe his estranged relationship with his father likely contributed to his struggles. Cody and Robin did attend the National Guard's memorial service for Garrison. However, Screen Rant noted that Robin never publicly acknowledged Garrison's death on social media, unlike other family members. Even Cody mentioned Garrison's death on Instagram, despite not having been active on the platform for years. Michael T reveals Christine Shocker as reason for move. Sister Wives star Michael T. Brown Padron provided a laundry listing of explanations as to why she's transferring away from Christine Brown in Utah to North Carolina. However, one motive hits followers of the TLC present as moderately stunning. Sister Wives, Michael T. Brown Padron, Dutiful Daughter. Just a few of the explanations Michael T. Brown Padron gives for her transfer to North Carolina sound completely possible. However, because the listing grows, the followers turn into shock at what they study her leaving Christine. This sister wife's daughter and her husband have a pay-to-view social media website. That is the place they reveal some media data you typically see online. So my Kelsey not too long ago hit on a number of matters, together with their transfer. This consists of speaking about her mother, Christine Brown, and why they really feel it's time to place some area between them and the household. When Christine Brown first left Cody Brown, she was alone with Truly Brown. Christine's different youngsters had been all adults and flew the coop for faculty, careers, and to start out households. So with Christine just about alone for the primary time, Michael T and Tony Padron determined to remain close to her mother as they assist system. However, as we speak, Christine is a newlywed with a husband who dotes on her. That stated, she's doing simply tremendous now. Nonetheless, staying close to Christine when she was newly divorced sounds caring. So Michael T gives nothing stunning with this motive. However, there's extra. Michael T's massive transfer is subsequent week away from Christine Brown. Michael T Brown Padron and Tony Padron crammed within the sister wives followers on the main points of their transfer. The sister wives' daughter stated they're slated to make the massive push out of Utah this coming Wednesday. They haven't bought their house in Utah, but though that they had a proposal. Tony and Michael T didn't settle for the provide, however they made a counteroffer. And it seems to be just like the potential consumers didn't chunk. So it's off to North Carolina they go, with their three kids in tow, 
subsequent week. This transfer advantages Tony significantly, who has landed employment that he calls a dream job. He'll turn into a chess teacher on the high chess middle within the nation. He may even stream chess video games for them as effectively. The employer of my Kulti's gross sales place has agreed to let her work remotely from house. So it just about doesn't matter the place her house is. She made it clear her employer just isn't Lularo. So this transfer advantages Tony's profession and doesn't have an effect on Michaelty Brown Padron's work. Michaelty shares her unique intentions, then shocker. Michaelty considers herself pre-unbiased of her household. So she by no means supposed to dwell near Christine Brown, her dad, or her siblings. However, circumstances on the time went in opposition to that thought. However, now she's again on her authentic monitor. And that's not a shocker to listen to. Sister Wives Cody and Whole Brown Family Reunites on Season 19 Sister Wives star Kobe Brown and his ex-wives are reportedly returning for another season. Season 18 didn't end well for Cody. Three of the four Sister Wives left him, leaving him with only Robin. Many fans are also curious about how the upcoming season will unfold especially after everything that has happened in the family, specifically Garrison's death. However, reports claim that the upcoming season may revolve around a huge reunion. Sister Wives Family Members Confirmed Season 19 Several members of the Brown family have already confirmed that they're returning for another season. Janelle and Christine previously stated that they're done filming for the new season. Cody's nephew, Benjamin even took to TikTok to share that Sister Wives Season 19 will air sometime in August. TLC has yet to share any news about bringing back the family. There hasn't been any preview of what's about to come. However, some fans think Season 19 will be an emotional roller coaster due to Garrison's death. Cody and family reunites on Season 19. The Brown family is known for their annual trip to Wyoming. Many are curious about how the family did for this year's trip following Cody's split from three of his wives. Several brown kids, such as Leon, Savannah, Christine, and Janelle, have already uploaded photos from their Wyoming trip. The family has also stated that they're going to have a memorial for Garrison in May 2024, and it's possible that they did it during the family's annual trip and are just now posting the Wyoming trip because of show storyline reasons. There are also speculations that their huge reunion, which may include Cody and Robin, was documented by TLC for season 19. It's no secret that Cody has buddies and pull at TLC, so the big get-together could also be to try to make Robin and himself look better in the viewer's eyes, considering he has been described as a monster over the past few seasons. Some Sister Wives fans also think that a family reunion with all original family members, there is a good way to remember Garrison and end season 19. Sister Wives, Garrison Brown's Devastating Death. Garrison Brown shocked the world in March after family members revealed that he had passed away. It was later reported that the Sister Wives star died of a gunshot wound to the head. According to autopsy reports, his death was ruled a suicide. Janelle and the rest of the family were devastated by Garrison's death. Photos of them during Garrison's National Guard Memorial also surfaced online. One of the pictures shows Janelle getting emotional while sitting next to Cody and Robin. It's unclear if TLC documented how the Brown family dealt with the tragic loss. But many fans hoped Janelle Brown is making big moves. A lot is going on in Janelle Brown's life. The Sister Wives star has faced numerous challenges over the years. Despite leaving Cody Brown in 2022, her struggles didn't end there. In March 2024, Janelle's son Garrison Brown tragically died by apparent suicide, leaving a deep sorrow in everyone's hearts. While he remains in their memories, Janelle has been seen trying to move forward. Sister Wives fans have always admired Janelle as a career woman. Now, it seems she's focusing on making all her dreams come true, whether it's spending more time with her kids or starting a business centering around her favorite hobby, Janelle is making big moves. Recently, 
a fan revealed a surprising detail about Janelle's life that left many fans astonished. So, what's Janelle's new big thing? Let's find out. Sister Wives Is Janelle living in North Carolina? Sister Wives star Janelle Brown always keeps her fans updated about the latest happenings in her life, whether it's her trip to Las Vegas for a Plexus convention or a family vacation to Yellowstone. However, there might be some things that Janelle hasn't shared yet. In a recent post on their Patreon account, Michaelty Brown and her husband, Tony Pedrin, shared something. It were the reasons behind their sudden move to North Carolina. While concluding their session, Michaelty expressed her happiness about getting close to Janelle's household. Tony then confirmed that Janelle was also living there. This seemed to be an accidental revelation as Michaelty quickly told Tony he wasn't supposed to say that. This slip-up suggests that Janelle might have moved to North Carolina, leaving her home in Flagstaff, Arizona. This is interesting, considering Janelle recently started a flower business registered in Flagstaff. It seems this information was meant to be kept under wraps, possibly for a big reveal in the next season of Sister Wives. Fans are buzzing about this development. One Sister Wives fan commented, I think Janelle could easily have a place in NC and split her time between Flagstaff and not really say she moved, but also basically living there more frequently and longer spurts of time. Another added, Everything Janelle has said on her social media was that she still lived in Flagstaff as her main hub and seemed to be constantly traveling as well. But her moving to NC permanently would make sense depending on what Savannah and Gabe are doing. Sister Wives Janelle Brown owns a business in Flagstaff. After separating from Cody, Janelle is now pursuing her dreams and achieving new heights. The Sister Wives star is spending time with her family while turning her favorite hobbies into successful career ventures. Janelle, known for her passion for gardening, is currently working on a small cut flower business. According to recent reports, she has filed business documents to open a flower farm in Flagstaff. Fans always knew that Janelle has always shared her dreams about gardening and farming. Thus, this might be her making her dreams come true. A Reddit post provided more details, sharing a screenshot of the Sister Wives star's flower business, Teta Farms. Robin Brown married Cody for his money. Robin Brown allegedly married Cody for his money. Sister Wives accused her of being a gold digger. New evidence shows she's only with him for the fame and the finer things in life. Robin Brown allegedly married Cody for his money. Sister Wives accused her of being a gold digger. New evidence shows she's only with him for the fame and the finer things in life. Keep on reading to learn more. Robin Brown's Gold Digging Exposed Sister Wives fans have accused Robin Brown of everything under the sun. But this is the first time she was accused of being a gold digger. Robin entered a polygamous relationship with Mary, Janelle, Christine, and Cody Brown. She admitted that it was her life path. Robin desired to have a polygamous family with Cody. However, fans didn't believe her. They blame her for the demise of the family. Over the years, Cody distanced himself from his wives. He spent most of his time with Robin and her kids. Robin Brown's Gold Digging Exposed Sister Wives fans have accused Robin Brown of everything under the sun. But this is the first time she was accused of being a gold digger. Robin entered a polygamous relationship with Mary, Janelle, Christine, and Cody Brown. She admitted that it was her life path. She saw many benefits of being part of their family. The TLC received financial freedom from her past debt. But that's not the only financial benefit she got from their marriage. Robin also received funds and fame from appearing on sister wife Scubby Brown's favor seemed to shift toward Robin. He encouraged her to pursue many business ventures, including my sister wife's closet. Robin's obedience to their marriage was attractive to him. She even received a larger share of the Coyote Pass property.